The universe is vast, we long to know if we are alone. In this grand cosmic theater our search for life beyond Earth has taken us to a nearby star system, Alpha Centauri. There, orbiting the red dwarf star Proxima Centauri lies a planet of tantalizing potential. Proxima B. Discovered in 2013, Proxima B immediately captured the imagination of scientists and the public alike. Proxima B is an exoplanet, that means it orbits a star outside of our solar system. But what makes this planet particularly special is its proximity to us. At just over four light years away, Proxima B is our closest known exoplanetary neighbor. This proximity, combined with the fact that Proxima B resides within its star's habitable zone, has fueled speculation about the possibility of life on this alien world. Could Proxima B be a second Earth, teeming with life as we know it? Or does it hold an even more profound secret? Life as we've never imagined it. To understand Proxima B, we must first understand its star. Proxima Centauri is a red dwarf star, much smaller and cooler than our own sun. It's a common type of star in the Milky Way galaxy, but their faintness makes them difficult to see with the naked eye. Proxima B orbits its host star at a distance of roughly 7.5 million kilometers. That's about 20 times closer than Earth's orbit around the Sun. This close proximity means that Proxima B completes an orbit around its star in just 11.2 Earth days. Imagine a year that's just over a week long. While this close orbit raises questions about the planet's habitability, it's important to remember that Proxima Centauri is much cooler than our Sun. As a result, Proxima B receives a comparable amount of energy to what Earth receives despite its close orbit. This places Proxima B squarely within the habitable zone, also known as the Goldilocks zone, where temperatures could allow for liquid water to exist on the surface. Though Proxima Centauri provides its planet with the potential for liquid water, it also presents a significant challenge stellar flares. These flares are not just minor inconveniences, they are colossal bursts of energy that can have profound effects on any planet orbiting close by. Red dwarf stars are known for their tempestuous nature, frequently erupting with intense bursts of radiation. These stars, while smaller and cooler than our sun, are far more volatile. Their flares can release massive amounts of energy in a very short period. These flares can be hundreds of times more powerful than solar flares from our sun. Imagine the most powerful solar flare ever recorded, and then multiply that by a hundred. That's the kind of energy we're talking about. Imagine being bathed in a sudden, intense burst of energy. For any life forms or even the planet's atmosphere, this could be catastrophic. The energy from these flares can strip away protective layers and expose the surface to harmful radiation. That's what life on Proxima b would have to contend with, potentially on a regular basis. The planet, orbiting its star at a close distance, is in the line of fire for these powerful flares. These flares could strip away a planet's atmosphere, leaving its surface exposed to the harsh radiation of space. Without an atmosphere, the planet would be vulnerable to the full brunt of cosmic and stellar radiation. They could even boil away any existing oceans, rendering the planet completely uninhabitable. Water, the essential ingredient for life as we know it, could be lost in the blink of an eye. However, recent observations from the James Webb Space Telescope have provided a glimmer of hope. This advanced telescope has given us new insights into the behavior of Proxima Centauri and its flares. While Proxima Centauri does indeed unleash powerful flares, the telescope has revealed that these flares are often directed towards the poles of the star, not its equator. This directional pattern is crucial for understanding the potential habitability of Proxima b. This means that Proxima b, orbiting in the star's equatorial plane, might be spared the full brunt of these energetic outbursts. The planet could be in a relatively safer zone, shielded from the most intense flares. So, is Proxima Centauri a benevolent host or a destructive force? The reality is complex. The star exhibits both calm and violent behaviors, making it a double-edged sword for any potential life on its planets. The jury is still out, but the answer likely lies somewhere in between. Proxima Centauri's flares are a significant threat, but their directional nature offers a sliver of hope for the planets in its orbit. Life on Proxima b, if it exists, would have to be incredibly resilient to survive in such an environment. It would need to adapt to the constant threat of radiation and the potential loss of its atmosphere and water. But life, as we've learned from our own planet, finds a way. From the deepest oceans to the highest mountains, life on Earth thrives in the most extreme conditions. Perhaps just perhaps life on Proxima b could do the same, adapting and evolving to survive in the face of such formidable challenges. 
tidally locked one face to the sun. Another consequence of Proxima b's close orbit is a phenomenon known as tidal locking. This is a fascinating and complex process that occurs when the gravitational forces between a planet and its star cause the planet to rotate at the same rate that it orbits the star. This means that the same side of the planet always faces its star, just like how the same side of the moon always faces Earth. This results in one hemisphere of the planet being in constant daylight, while the other is in perpetual darkness. Imagine a world with one hemisphere perpetually bathed in sunlight and the other shrouded in eternal darkness. This stark contrast creates a unique environment that is unlike anything we experience on Earth. This tidal locking would have a profound impact on Proxima b's climate. The constant exposure to the star's radiation on one side would lead to extreme temperatures while the lack of sunlight on the other side would result in frigid conditions. The sun-facing side would experience scorching temperatures, potentially hot enough to melt rock, while the dark side would be locked in a perpetual freeze with temperatures plummeting to hundreds of degrees below freezing. Such extreme conditions might seem incompatible with life as we know it. The harsh environment would challenge any form of life to adapt to the severe heat and cold. However, recent simulations have suggested that a tidally locked planet like Proxima b could still possess a temperate zone, a twilight zone, where temperatures are just right for liquid water to exist. This zone would be a narrow band where the day and night sides meet. This zone would lie along the terminator, the line separating the planet's day and night sides. Here, the temperatures could be moderate enough to support liquid water, which is essential for life as we know it. The existence of this twilight zone hinges on the presence of an atmosphere. An atmosphere would be crucial in distributing heat around the planet, preventing the extreme temperatures from being too harsh on either side. An atmosphere could circulate heat around the planet, moderating the temperature extremes and potentially creating a more hospitable environment. This circulation would allow for a more even distribution of heat, making the twilight zone a potential haven for life. If Proxima b has an atmosphere capable of such heat distribution, it opens up the possibility for life to exist in this twilight zone. The unique conditions could foster the development of life forms adapted to the constant twilight, creating an ecosystem unlike any we have seen before. Future missions and observations will be crucial in determining the true nature of Proxima b's atmosphere and its potential to support life. As we continue to explore the cosmos, Proxima b remains one of the most intriguing candidates for finding extraterrestrial life. The Twilight Zone, where life might find a way. Imagine a world of perpetual twilight where the sun hangs forever on the horizon, a place where day and night blend into one, creating an eternal dusk that paints the sky in hues of orange and red. This could be the reality on Proxima b if it possesses the right kind of atmosphere, an atmosphere that could shield the planet from harmful radiation while allowing the warmth and light of its star to nurture the surface. This twilight zone, bathed in the soft glow of a red dwarf star, could be a haven for life. The red dwarf star, Proxima Centauri, emits a gentle, persistent light that could sustain a unique ecosystem. In this zone, temperatures would be neither too hot nor too cold. The balance of heat and light could create a stable environment, one where life could potentially thrive without the extreme conditions found on other planets. Liquid water, the elixir of life as we know it, could exist on the surface. Water is essential for all known forms of life and its presence would be a strong indicator of the potential for life. And with water comes the possibility of oceans, lakes and rivers, all potential cradles for the emergence and evolution of life. These bodies of water could host a myriad of life forms, from simple microorganisms to complex multicellular organisms. Life in this twilight zone would be unlike anything we've ever seen. The unique conditions could give rise to alien life forms with extraordinary adaptations unlike any on Earth. Plants, if they exist, would have evolved to photosynthesize under the dim red light of Proxima Centauri. These plants might have pigments unlike any found on Earth, allowing them to efficiently capture the scarce light available. Animals might have developed unique adaptations to navigate a world of perpetual twilight. They could have enhanced senses, bioluminescence, or other extraordinary traits to help them survive and thrive in this dimly lit environment. The possibilities are both exciting and daunting. Scientists are eager to explore these potential habitats, driven by the hope of discovering life beyond our planet. Proxima b's twilight zone could be a desolate wasteland, or it could be teeming with life, waiting to be discovered. The mystery of what lies on this distant world fuels our imagination and our quest for knowledge. Only further observations and perhaps one day, a mission to this intriguing world will reveal the truth. 
As our technology advances, the dream of exploring Proxima B becomes more tangible, bringing us closer to uncovering the secrets of this twilight zone.